We're back. We are back. We're actually going to work on the missed quests. Yep. But first, uh, in between episodes, we did some shit. Um, <laughs> boom. Oh, excuse me. That's boom. We now look a lot nicer. And we do. And a lot better. Uh, in between episodes, I made 35 leather gauntlets, and we leveled up, and our smithing's higher than it was. <laughs> Terry looks pretty kicking now, man. He does. Terry's new robes look awesome. Uh, we're getting there. And we're getting there. Uh, I believe... Yes, we can take Dwarven Smithing now. And th I'm trying to... We're getting there. We're going Oh, and we have some... I don't remember if we did it on camera or not. We have some nice Dwarven booties. Yeah. Uh, we could not find the gauntlets. So our gauntlets don't match our boots. Um, also, because of those neat Dwarven booties... Uh, we got a letter from Cal Selmo. Oh, God. You can voice Cal Selmo. What? Cal S Oh, he's, um... Doesn't he just sound like a... Like a, just a generic old Nord. It has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a certain dwarven boots from Whiterun. I'm not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or if not, find another one. I would be most appreciative if you were bring it to me here in Markarth. I will pay handsomely, sincerely, Calselmo. And it's funny because we were just talking about how much we dislike Markarth. Yep. Um. And also, he, um, yeah, um, I tried. I tried to they, sound they, like this happened. Oh between, yeah, vampires uh, attacked. Uh, I... Who is that guy? Tithis Ulen. Is he a guy? I mean, he's not essential. He's just a townsperson. I really hope we didn't have a quest for him. No, we didn't have any quest for that guy. I would have remembered his name. Anyway, we're going to deal with our mist quest this episode, finally. Yeah, how many mists do we have right now? Um, m many. Oh, God. Okay, we've got to get a mammoth tusk. So let's go get a mammoth tusk. That'll be easy. Well, since we're here, we're going to go talk to Sapphire real quick. Since we're right oh, here. yeah, let's figure that out. No, I don't. We're going to talk to Sapphire. We actually have three in Helgen. Or not Helgen, um... Helgen? Iverstead. Yeah. And they're all three pretty easy. Oh, we gotta talk to the guy that we dropped the supplies off for. Yep, and we gotta talk to the guy and ask about Rado, and we gotta go investigate that barrow. Yeah. For now, though... Yeah. I knew that stupid kid would find We're gonna talk to her about Shatter's debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Hey! Nice! I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable owner. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope he doesn't think that way again. So do I. You're cool. At least she listened to reason. Yep, speech checks. They're they're very nice. Oh, we have to talk to the Sibby person too. That's a name quest though, so that'll be later in the docket. Ah oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta clear out some of those named quests too, man. We gotta get some quest logs. Honestly, a lot of the ones we have are pretty. Short. Why did we just lag? Oh right, all the dead bodies. Um, there is someone I'm trying to see. No. Uh, Bitch. Uh, that female Argonian. She was here when I first came into town, and she went somewhere. Well, yeah, but you gotta find Shatter too. Yeah, I gotta find Shatter. Never seen I mean the vampires. Yeah, they bother me too. I believe it. The quest is return to Shatter. It's somewhere. Yeah, he's around. He's just walking. Oh, he's around. the stable hand. He's outside. I. Uh... Oh, it's where the quest marker is. Because <laughs> all my markers point outside. Look at that thing. Looks like a butt. The frostbite spider is one of Skyrim's most fearsome and loathed native creatures. It will attack anyone relentlessly with both poison and fangs, and is as deadly as an affection for which it is wound, whatever. The Daedric Prince Hircine is also known as the Huntsman of the Princes and the Father of Man-Beasts. He can call upon the Wild Hunt to punish those who defy him. Man-Beasts? He is a man-beast! Whoa, whoa, here she, she comes. comes! Watch out, boys, she'll, she'll chew you up! Whoa, whoa here she We're comes! Outside. She's man gobbler. Eat her. Eat her. Hey, there's shot her. Hey, buddy. Good luck with Sapphire. You're no longer in debt. Eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't 
think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came to me. And that money? I need it anymore. Oh, 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 he was going to hide from her. That's actually useful. That will be useful, especially once we start the Thieves Guild shit. Yeah. Really? Oh my even... god! We have a lot in Iver We have a lot to do in Iverstead. We have a lot to do in Iverstead. And a lot of it is just talking to people. Yeah. We just gotta tell the guy we delivered the boots. We gotta talk to Klimic, we gotta go talk to the barkeep about Rada, we gotta go find Rada. And we gotta tell go Narfi. Tell Narfi and then investigate the barrow. And the barrow there doesn't take very long. Poor Narfi. I think that's actually one of the shortest barrow quests is the one in Ever Iverstead. I feel bad about everything that has to do with Narfi. Yeah, it's gonna get worse. Yeah, it is. Hey, 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 hey! We really should name him because he, he has been staying with us. Him, her. Well, he comes with us and then walks back to Riften. So he seems to change his mind a lot. So I think we name him Waffle. Good to see you. Okay. His you name is Waffle the Horse. Climb, okay, I delivered the supplies and a while ago. Much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Yeah, that's a tidy little profit. That's a good little profit. For this point in the game? For the point when I got the quest, yeah, that was a tidy little And song. for as, honestly, for as... As paltry a labor as that was. in the way that quest was for you, because we were going to go there no matter what. We had to go there. Basically, yeah. That was a place we had oh, to go. Oh, so, uh, now that we're on camera, I'm going to unbutton the top button on my shirt. It's warm. Why did you have to wait until we were all recording I wanted your that? reaction. To you unbuttoning the top button of your collarless polo? Yeah. It is a t-shirt with three buttons near Two. the collar. Two buttons near the collar. There's no collar to this thing. It is a it is a partial buttoned t-shirt. Why? I'm wearing a t-shirt that's just a t-shirt, and it's not presumptuous enough to have fucking buttons on it. The sleeves are also a different color from the actual uh, torso part. Yeah, I know. That's common, though. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Well, that's a bummer. Rain Damn. Gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. This is a sad little mini quest. Yeah. Because it's poor Narfi. It's his sister, and it's all... She's all he had. What happened here? Some shit. Okay, this this better be picked up by the time Terry gets back. Or what? Terry's gonna foos somebody. You know that I could foos somebody. I just need somebody to foos. Won't you, you find got somebody to foos? Okay, so East is that way. Over here is where uh, her remains are. If I remember. What is it? I, I, I'm it's also a curious. skull, you dumb bitch! I'm also curious. And I... Satchel. Aww. That, and take that, and we'll take the... Take all of it. All Rita. Terry almost drowned. Okay. Now we're gonna go show that to Narfum. Fusro da, oh Fusro da. That's a local reference. Fusro da, Fusros and das. Rocking and a rolling, Fus and then a rowing it. Keys, keys, keys. I, I ever said. I wasn't necessarily referencing Keys on Van Nuys. It's a fucking song called Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. Please take my hand. I told Narfi the truth. He needs to know. Oh, no, no, no. Terry's Narfie. a realist. Terry's a realist. I know. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. You gave him closure. You gave him the necklace, and now he knows the truth. And he gave me a bunch of And he is, he, he is entitled to know the truth. 
It's best not to lie to him, but it still makes no, no, me no. feel sad for Narfi. And it makes me feel even worse for Narfi because later. of fucking later. Hey, Clinic likes me. Spoiler alert, we're not going to be very nice to Narfi later. Hey, it's a barrel. We're going to be pretty mean to Narfi later. Hey, look, it's a barrel full of laughs. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So you got new beverage during the break, so you're not going to be clinking around your ice cubes. I did. Like a little scum boy. I've been drinking a lot today. I've been, I've been like, have. I've been, this is my third big cup. You've been bevin a lot Like this today. is, we got, it was full when we got uh, our food. And then I refilled it once, and this is the second time I've refilled it. Now, like, I, I, I am thirsty. I'm today. still on the my cup from breakfast. You haven't put more tea in your cup? No, but the good thing with tea is as it melt, as the ice melts, I get more tea. Yeah. No, I've just been thirsty. I don't know why. Nah. I think also it's been because I've been imitating a lot of the fucked up voices. Like I've been imitating like Farkas and Her stuff, which is like very flinty and like very. Hey. Like, Terry takes orders oh, from no man. My throat. Terry takes orders from no man. Go fucking. Kill oh, that. I remember this. Oh, it's this shit. I hate this puzzle. You got me rocking and a rolling, okay. rocking and a reeling, bobber and bomb, 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 and. Okay. Went to the dance. Oh my god, that was total guesswork. Wow. I didn't even remember that's how you you do that. Went to the dance, looking for romance, saw Barbara Ann, so I thought I'd take a chance of Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. I don't know why. that, that is pinball wizard. He's a pinball wizard. It's got to be a twist. Pinball wizard has such a soulful wrist. I'm trying to remember how that song goes. I don't know. Do, um... Do, How do you think he does it? I don't know. What makes him so good? Do, uh, it's something. Do Pac-Man Fever. Pac-Man Fever? Yeah, that's a song. Buck -em, buck -em, buck -em, buck -em. It's Cat Scratch Fever. No. Oh. Yeah, the name of the song is Cat Scratch Fever. That oh, oh, God. Unless Pac-Man Fever is some parody that I'm not aware of, the song is Cat Scratch Fever. I think there's a, I think there's a song called Pac-Man Fever. If there's a song called Pac-Man Fever, it's probably a parody of Cat Scratch Fever. Whoa! Whoa! There it takes what from you no man. Ass. You're gonna heal. Oh, you're gonna want to heal. And then. Fucking wreck his ass. Like the bitch he is. Open it. Come on. Open it, bitch. Breach. Mine's better. Yeah. You took Dick. off his ethereal spell. No, he's got these. Oh, yeah, the fil fil filter. Gefilte fish. Oi. Oi. Oi! Let's not go this way. So I have I have a friend I have a friend named Amanda. Named Rambling Bob. Now I have a friend. Did he used to cheat gambling, Rob? Did he think he was the smartest guy in town? I have a friend named Amanda, and um, she she is she is a uh, uh, Jewish, and um, she has a good like oh. sense of humor about oh. like Jewish stuff. I got a thing. And and the um, the word that I'm trying to convince her to help me get to, to permeate society uh, is a word for a, a, a beautiful Jewish woman, Judiful. Oh, uh, like like to call her Judiful. What? Uh, she doesn't think it's a good idea, and she doesn't think it's going to catch on. Jew bear. What are her thoughts on Jew bear? Uh, that was from uh, Assassin's Creed. Creed. Hey, we found his journal. Debitabub bank located. All I need is some undisturbed. I must be hidden somewhere here. That full bill came in and bear on some pottery shards and more if you may came to do the trick. The other person was really that's gonna all I had to do is wander the entrance bear and went wave. Alright, stop. 
I forget which claw. I think I think it might be the coral claw. Did I find burial? Did the shroud hearth burial? All who oppose me will fall. He went crazy. Yeah. Actually, no. I think Wilhelm gives me the claw for this barrow. No, it, it's it's really insightful to the to the type of friends that I have. She and I are planning on having a Jew day. We're we're gonna sit around and eat latkes and drink Manischewitz wine, and like watch Woody Allen movies. What else do Jews eat other than latkes? I don't know brisket, bagels, gefilte fish, bagels. Uh. We're Irish. We get stuck with the stereotype of potatoes, which isn't bad. They're I mean, good. I love potatoes, potatoes but that's like lovely. we have like the most boring stereotype. I had stereotype. potatoes for breakfast. I had potatoes. Literally every meal I ate yesterday had potatoes. Yeah. Literally all of them. Literally all both of them. Every, yeah. By the way, I still regret that decision yesterday. <laughs> uh, before I came here yesterday, <laughs> I had four McDonald's hash browns. A decision after... Over 24 hours, I still regret greatly. And you had hash browns with breakfast this morning. I had, too. like, actual, like, good quality hash browns, though. Yeah, you had, like, actual, like, diner hash browns. Though. They weren't, like, McDonald's hash browns. You had hash browns from Everest, and Everest is the best they, breakfast they place ever. They have good hash browns. Everest is the shit. I, and if I you had live, fries if, with my lunch. At, my, it was, like, we had, like, a late oh, lunch, early dinner yesterday kind of thing. If you're, if you're, if you live in... Uh, Southern California, California. Pretty and, much and anywhere. you're watching this video, you need to find an Everest. There's one in Glendale, there's one in Upland, there's one in La Crescenta, and there's one here in Santa Clarita. Uh, if, yeah, if you're near one of those cities, you need to go eat at Everest and uh, either get the pancakes or the breakfast burrito, because you will be happy for the rest of the day. Get the hash browns. They have, they have good hash browns. They have good hash browns, too. Well, if you get the breakfast burrito, there's hash browns in the breakfast burrito. But, like, just the hash brown. If you ask for ketchup, by the way, they will give you, like, a they whole bottle. They give you bottle. so much ketchup. Oh, my God. Oh, and the fucking, uh, their bacon is really good. They have good, they have very they have good bacon. They have good bacon. Like, I judge a breakfast place, like a breakfast menu, on how good their bacon is. And they have good bacon. It's hard to get Yeah, really he good gives bacon. you the sapphire claw. Yeah. Which you need to get... Into the, into the rest of that oh, place. Oh shit! Oh no! Are we doing it? Should we? Should we? Should we see? This will break our halt list? everything we're doing. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I don't care if it's gonna break our list because I have this down for later. But no, because I was actually gonna hunt him down later. No, we're doing this now because this will make we progress. just randomly encountered him. Later, Raleigh. This will make progress infinitely easier. We'll no longer. Oh, that means Agnes is gonna no longer be a factor. Okay, so we're starting a drinking contest with Sam Guavain. This couldn't place. possibly go bad. Oh. We need to think of what we're going to name whatever happens out of this. Right. I've, had, I've batted around a few ideas. So says you. I and I think, I, think I, I know what we're going to name him. Terry's kind of a lightweight. No problem. Really Terry's kind of a lightweight. Fast grape. You know you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine. Oh shit! Water. I know where we're gonna wake up. Oh you, yeah. Oh god. And we've we we've, we've been spending the last forty five minutes. It's like Beetlejuice. We were talking about. We it. talked it about the city too much. As soon as we get out, we're gonna have to fast travel out. Hey, hi, hi, ma'am. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Hey. Where am I? Of course. You don't remember getting here. I'm guessing you all are oh, coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a ghost. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over your campus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'd love to help you figure it out. But I'm so busy cleaning up the mess you made of our temple. Now... If you were to help tidy up and perhaps apologize afterwards, I might be able to help you. Oh, we're in the worst city. But we, yeah, we need to do it. Because I actually, I have this marked down to deal with uh, later. But we're, we're sequence breaking right now. 
Yeah, we were going to do this. This is on our to do list. We we we're 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 skipping. What we're we're not skipping. We're putting on pause what we were just doing. We need the following to repair the broken staff: giant stone, holy water, hag raven feather. Sam. I have that's an objective. Apologize. I would anyway. You're drinking, bitch. Well, let's we will it. come back here later, ma'am, and I'll fuck up your temple. Let's go to You Roar, thought Sam. I put trash in here now. But have you, I don't think you ever did the quest for the Yeah, temple. I did. Yeah, you think she bitch thinks I put trash in here now. First of all, I start fucking dropping bodies. Oh my God. Terry. Jesus. Terry's an angry drunk. He's hung over now. Terry's, Terry's an angry... He's pissed off he's hung over. He probably has rock joint, knowing him. People watching this probably knew where this episode was headed. Oh, they're going to keep doing their miscellaneous quests and talk to the people in Iverstead. Oh, they're going to go get that claw and finish the thing. And like, no, drinking contest, Daedra, Markarth. Um, fuck them all. My priority, Daedra. This is always the Daedra quest I try to do first, always, because you get the best reward out of this one if you're playing a mage. Why didn't you just run to the run to Rorikstead for Markarth? I don't want to be in Markarth. You're an angry little fucking cunt, Because the you? thing is, you know what happens if I go near the entrance to Markarth? That whole shit starts. And I can't put that one on pause. When that one happens, I just need to do it. The quest that the, when you walk For, into Markarth? When, they, when the dude dies and oh, the mind kicks yeah, off. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one that gets worse the longer you wait to do it. Because there's more chance shit will just go wrong. Yeah. So we just have to do it all in one shot. Where's our horse? Hey, there's Waffle. Hey, Waffle. A troll. It makes sense that Terry would have a horse named Waffle also. A troll, Waffle. Like, Terry having a horse named Waffle just makes sense to me. A troll. That's, I think there's a Spriggan in them there woods. Why am I heading towards it? I have to admit, it is nice to have a horse. It is. What isn't? What? Why is the... Oh, oh! I can't risk Waffle. Yeah, we can't lose Waffle. I need to get, like, Waffle somewhere safe, and then I'll turn around and fight. Okay. What the hell?! Oh, it's fighting the saber cat. Waffle, don't be a hero. Waffle, don't be a hero. Waffle. Waffle's fine. Waffle. Waffle. Waffle, no. Betrayal. Why did Waffle aggro to you? I think I accidentally I think I hit Waffle when I was trying to hit the saber cat. Did the saber cat come back to life? Did I boost the saber cat back to life? Waffle! Oh, lord. Betrayal. Well! Waffle. Waffle lasted a long time! Waffle. This is a dark day for Terry. Betrayed by the one he trusted most. Can't even drag his body anywhere. It's too big. Well, it is gonna be a bit. Well, that happened. And you know what? We let it happen. Yeah. I think I accidentally hit Waffle with a lightning bolt. Probably. And he got a little ornery. It's not deep enough. Not deep enough. Oh, wrecked. Next level strat. Wold is useful. End of strat. 
Whirlwind Sprint is the most game-breaking shout. End of strat. Did... I thought I saw a shadow. So I thought it was a Dargon. Thought it was a Dargon? Yeah. They're That's... closer to Wyverns, but whatever. I'm not going to be that guy. They're dra- What do you mean they're cl- Because they only have two legs. You see. But uh, they're dragons. Yeah, but they they're, they they have their arms are wings. They're dragons. They kind of use their arms when they're on the ground. They kind of use their arms they're, as... They're, they're dragons. They're dragons. I'm not going to be that guy. Wyverns are like a type of dragon. I know. Well, kind of. They speak draconic. I mean, there's a bunch of different, like, varieties of it. I mean, you got, like... Western dragons and Eastern dragons, first of all. And you got stuff like wyverns and shit like that. They're all dragons. Man, we really should work on getting other words of this shout. Or like Falcor. I love dragon. Yep. Mushu. Mushu. Let's get Mushu pork next time we do Wanya. I'll pay to fix the windows again. Okay. You. You've got a lot of Enus. Enus. Your name rhymes with penis. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sounds pretty bad. Uh, I thought you were talking about your daughter. Now, how did we fucking sell the goat to a giant if we can't go anywhere near giants without aggroing them? Well, let's, dis well, let's, let's discover Aurora instead. Ah. What? I did not know that Rorik was named after a guy. Neither did I. I've never actually seen that guy before. In all my time playing... Honestly, I've never in Rorikstead much. There's really not much to do in Rorikstead other than this quest. That I know of. Yeah, really just this quest. I guess we're gonna go fight a giant. I think there's another quest that might bring you to Rorikstead for some reason. I know that's where the uh, Lokir is from. The horse thief. Yeah. From the very beginning of the game. And there's okay. a dragon that usually pops up near Rorikstead. Because it puts Rorikstead on your map because he mentions it. Okay. You haven't aggroed the giant yet. You... I... Okay. I didn't know he was named. I think you can actually talk to him. But this the ter we're doing this the Terry way. I didn't know there was any giants you could talk to. I didn't know giants could talk. They can. He's walking away. What is she? Agnes. What the hell is happening? Dude, that giant doesn't want to fight you, bro. He's marked aggressive on my map, on my thing. Agnes isn't targeting him. Like, he's marked aggressive. 
Oh, now he's mad. Where did Agnes go? She disappeared. Which means that went on for over a minute. Happened. I don't know. That was the weirdest battle ever. But you know when we'll deliver that goat back to the guy? We gotta to, get to, the goat to, first. To penis? Where's the goat? There's the Over goat. there. Do you know when we'll deliver him to penis? Next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay nerdy. What even just happened? I don't know.